today we are starting a new topic or something new to talk about in writing because you've worked so hard the last, what do you think this is like, three weeks, four weeks? I'd say three and a half. Three and a half weeks on writing for ideas. And we used to call it ideas and content or what's inside your writing. But it's mostly now we talk about ideas and we also were doing a lot of work with what we call small moments. Alright? So you have proven because I've used your work to show second graders how it's done. You've proven that you can write with success in writing about a small moment in time and using three things that we talked about way back when we first started three or four weeks ago. We talked about three things that you have to have when you write about a good idea. You, re you guys remember, look at this, Mrs. Latham. Look at your class. Yes. Yeah, yeah, original. Original. Awesome. It has to be original. And we talked about what that meant. What does original mean? It means that it has to be something that um, no one else went on thought about. Something no one else thought about. Beautifully done. Jaden, right? Awesome. What was the other? There were three of them. Remember? What was Detail. that? Details. Details. What kind of details? Details. And you know, when I was reading some of the writing um, that Jasmine did, that I just shared with second grade, he had beautiful details in his writing about being stung by a bee. He talked about how the bee stung him where he was, why the bee stung him, what his mom did, and what she said. It was awesome. So juicy details. The second graders loved it. All right, and what was that last thing? Sometimes the hardest thing to do. Michael. Uh, it is... Juicy... Oh, we already got juicy detail. Need some help? It's two words, and the first one says clear. Clear focus. Thank you. Nice job. See, sometimes we just need a little jump start, right? A clear focus. And you have become what I consider masters of ideas in small moments, writing with originality. So original. You put it T on the end, and next thing you know, you have a new word, originality. It means the same thing. Juicy details, clear focus. I've changed these all to nouns now. By adding that on, I changed this word to a noun. We write with originality, with juicy details, with a clear focus. Beautiful. So today, we're moving on. Because once you learn new, you, you got something, you got to learn something new that goes with it. So today we are going to use, whoops, that's all right, you can see this. Is this okay? Can you see that all right? Yes. So today you are going to use your voice, and I'm going to give that the old squiggly line. Why do I put the squiggly line under that? Why, um, that we stop? Okay, let me finish, let me finish writing it and then I'm going to ask you, all right? So use your voice to excite your... Really high level. All right, so use your voice 
to excite your audience. So did we stop? Use your voice to excite your audience. Why did I put my squiggly under there? Because you Okay, all right. So, anyone else want to tell me why I might have said, use your voice to excite your audience? Yes. You, you, want, the, you want the audience to um, hear, hear the excitement that like you have in your story. Your, um, your high level, your short level, your voice. Okay, all right. So, here's what we're going to do. Just like when we talked about ideas, I had to give you what we call key concepts. I'm going to give you some vocabulary words, like we talked about these vocabulary words. Now we're going to talk about these with the concept of voice. Okay? So we know we have to have good ideas. All writers have to write with their own voice. Okay? So here's some, here's the key points that I want to put up here. We're going to talk about them, and then I'm going to read you what? A story. A story to show you. Because writers don't just tell. They show. They show, and they tell. So in order to show you about voice, I have to read you a story, don't I? So text features. Is one. Read that with me. Text features. The second is purpose. Anyone else? Purpose. Thank you, Megan. All right, so purpose. You know how I knew it says purpose? Because, and I'm doing this with Mrs. Dumont's class and Mrs. St. Lawrence's class. Because I, I have two consonants in the middle, and I know I'm going to split them right here. Because when there's just two consonants in the middle, I split. And then I can split this word and go, her, his. Okay? So I know it starts with her. All right? I know it would start. Because some of you said propose, right? So, I know it can't be that because this says per, all right? Purpose. Text features purpose, and this is my favorite about voice, this one. And you're going to talk about this in a second. The last one begins with a P. See if you can figure out what I'm writing. Think about voice. See if you can figure out as I'm writing what this long word is I'm about to write, okay? You think you already know? No, go ahead if you think you do. Okay, publish is later. We're going to talk about publishing at another time, like probably in the spring, publish. But good for you for thinking that.